Hey guys, this is uh, K Creighton G doing a uh, quick video ebook on uh, something I learned. Uh, one part was uh, from one of my mentors, Tony Scott. And I told him I would do content. I would take the information. Hey, how you doing? In, uh, in, I can't say that. I'm going to work on that. But uh, Turbo. Hey, Q, how are you doing? This is called Leveraging Your Assets. Uh, my name is Kay Creighton G. I'm an eighth degree black belt in Taekwondo and a managing business partner in the commercial. Hey, how you doing? Commercial cleaning company. And one of my mentors, uh, Tony Scott, always would tell me stuff. And so I said, you know what? I need to, one, write it down. And then, two, my creativity expands upon it. So the ebook and video ebook series is going to be called Leverage Your Assets. And um, I go by the name Kay Creighton G. Um, leverage your assets, the art of applying your relationships and resources to help you be successful. And I call it LYA. Tony gave me leverage your assets, but I'm going to leverage it even more. So I came up with a bunch of them. This is just a quick overview. I'll go in detail once I've uh, fed it out, write it out. List your assets, LYA. List and label your assets and what they can do for you. And that will help you leverage your assets. Number, I'm going to try to go in order. Number two, these just came off the top of my head. Lift up your assets. Give them high praise and credit for the effort and uh, edify them and let them know that one, they've impacted you. And number two, that you've used some of the information that they've given you. Leverage your assets basically is if you have a friend from high school and they're doing something that is important and impactful in the community and you could leverage them to help you with your business, your career, your whatever, whatever, call them up, see what you can do, see if you can give a connection. So leverage the people that you know. Um, launch your assets. Actually do something with them create a program or product. So this is one of the products that I'm going to be creating called LYA, Leverage Your Assets. And these are just the uh, episodes on live streaming, and then there'll be uh, chapters in the um, ebook and also the workbook that will be coming. Number next, uh, link your assets. You can link them together and link their website and social media to tangible as well as intangible assets. So you can put people together, you can put their networks with your networks and have a bigger outcome when you want to leverage your assets. Next, loop in your assets. Give them the heads up on what you plan to do and see what they can do for you and see what you can also do for them. So keep them in the loop so that you can leverage your assets. Uh, look at your assets. Take the time and really look at the angles, the width, the depth of your assets over time. Look at the tribulations, struggles, and successes that you've had with your assets and see how can you apply that and maximize that. Next, log your assets. This is what I'm working on. Um, create a calendar. Create a checklist. Create a to-do list. Create call to actions. So when you really look at your assets, the way in which you're going to leverage them is to apply that. Don't just say, you know, I know a bunch of rich people. I know a bunch of famous people, but you never talk to them, never call them, never ask them anything, never see if I can help them out. So you have to get involved, but you have to have a log of them. Here's one that's real important. Localize your assets. Create a map of all your assets and focus on what the local assets can do for you as well as the long distance assets can do for you digitally. So depending upon your situation, you know, you might have five blocks, five minutes, five miles that is within your sphere of influence and try to localize them. Maybe take them out to lunch, see what you can do for them, see how they can best help you out. That way you can leverage your assets. Next, live stream your assets. You can use webinars, mobinars, live streaminars, and to talk to them and to help solve problems and create content with rich 
digital products to sell. So that's one way you can leverage your assets. Do a live stream, do a, a chat, do a, a forum where you're actually talking to people, engaging people at a high level that other people would be interested in too. Here's the next one, listening. Listen to your assets. This is one where you have to be humble and honest with yourself and just do it. When you trust them and what they say and what they believe in, sometimes you just have to shut up and hear what they're saying and then, here's a, here's a fact, do it quickly. And um, matter of fact, do it quicker than you think you need to do it because they see things in your life that you can't see sometimes. They're able to have vision where you're blinded because you're emotionally attached to it. It's your stuff. It's your your je ne sais quoi, so to speak. And you can't see through the stink of your own mess to say, hey, you know, you need to do A, B, and C. You may be on QF and number five. Listen to your assets. If you trust them, they'll, they'll steer you right. Learn from your assets. And that way you can leverage your assets. That's the next one. Learn from your assets. Uh, lead from your assets. What does that mean, lead from your assets? Once you apply the assets, knowledge, wisdom, you can lead others in coaching, consulting, conferences, certifications, camps, councils, courses, classes, clinics, inner circles, on and on and on. That way you can really leverage your assets. That's where the student becomes the teacher and the teacher becomes the master. Because you're really just mastering yourself. That's what a master really is about. Um, Love your assets. Show them that you love them and you treat them well. Don't diss them. Don't talk bad about them. Uh, love your assets and your assets will love you. Here's weird ones that I came up with. I started looking at the look at. Scene behind the scene. Lifestyle of your assets. What can you learn about the way they live their lives? Are they impatient? Are they, this, this is once you have an asset that you can deep, dig deep into. Are they formidable? Do they bulk under pressure? Do they cry? Do they whimper? What things can you learn from how they live their life? Uh, next one, to be able to leverage your assets. What's the lifestyle of your assets? Are they living the way you'd like to live? Are they able to overcome obstacles and then shrug it off and get back on the path and dust themselves off and then they can pimp your assets. I made that up right now, just pimp your assets. Um, what's the longevity of your assets? What can you learn about the staying power of your assets? How long they've been in the game? They, they just uh, overnight wonder, not an overnight success. Something happened and what happened? I wonder what happened. You don't want that type of asset. You want somebody that's been there, done that, been in the trenches. Um, then you can really leverage their assets. The next one, legendary status of your assets. What have they done to get them to that level that, one, you're going to pay attention to. You're going to look, look, listen, and learn from what they say and what they've done. And are they able to speak into your life? You know, just because somebody's famous, that doesn't mean they can speak into your life. They might have the ability to communicate you, communicate with you. If you have some level of success, you may not listen to those that have lower levels of success. But somebody that's got a higher level than you, you need to pay attention. You need to wake up, pay attention. Uh, just a couple more. Look beyond your assets. Then you can really leverage your assets. What do you mean look beyond? I'm struggling right now. Well, what's in your future? Where can you go with these assets? What's next? So those are the things, once you get out of your situation, what's plan B? What do you plan to do after that? Um, got a couple more here. Leverage yearly assets. Something I'm working on. Every year, every quarter, maybe monthly. Some people can do it weekly uh, to do an assessment of the assets and what they can do for you. Give them the call. How can you help them on their behalf? What can they do for you? Um, lock down your assets. Then you can leverage your assets. What do you mean lock them down? Get them committed to help you out. Get them to give you input. And get in their schedule. 
see what you can do to help. And this is K Creighton G, uh, also known as Grandmaster Griffin of Griffin Martial Arts, talking about how to leverage your assets. One of my mentors, Tony Scott, uh, a while back said, you know, you need to leverage your assets. You know, your karate school is not doing as well as you would like it to. You need to tap into people. You need to have people help you out. You need to see what they can do for you. <coughs> Excuse me. Here's one. Loan your assets. Loan your assets out with permission. You know, ask them if you, hey, I was thinking about this other situation. I knew you did that. Would that be okay if I brought you in this situation or talked about you in that case? You know, collect interest. Laws of your assets. This is where you really have to know the type of people and the situation that they're in and around to really understand their laws, principles, and methodologies that they use on a regular basis and see how you can apply them in your life. You maybe can't use everything that they do because they came, in a diff came up in a different situation. But if you're going to leverage their experience, their knowledge, their things they've been through, you need to understand the things that drive them, that keep them rooted, keep them grounded. So their laws, their principles, things that they believe in. Not that you have to believe in them, but you need to understand their point of view, where they're coming from then you can really leverage your assets. Next, look out for your assets. Uh-oh. Be aware and look out on their behalf. If you see something they can use, let them know. Maybe you need to buy them something. Maybe give them something on the hookup. You know, I was thinking about you in this situation, and I just went ahead and got it. You'll be surprised um, how people will now see you as an asset. You know, if you can hook them up and do something on their behalf without looking at trying to get something again because you've probably already gotten more than they've given. If they give you five, ten nuggets of information, you need to be grateful and thankful and, you know, you need to toss them a bone every now and again. And um, look to ask your assets. Sometimes you just have to say, you know what, I've gotten a lot of information from you. What can I do for you? How can I help you? How can I help you in your situation with the assets that I have on my behalf. This has been K Creighton G, and this has been LYA, Leverage Your Assets. You guys can hit me up at mastergriffy at yahoo.com. Check out the notes. That's M-A-S-T-R-G-R-I-F-Y at yahoo.com. You can do hashtag, I'll put together some other notes with this, but you can do hashtag Grandmaster Keith Griffin, Hashtag Master Griffin, hashtag K Creighton G. That's K C R E I G H T O N, and then my last name G for Griffin. All right, we'll see you guys on the other side. Drop pin. I'm out. <laughs>